All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live stream from the Scalar Learning Channel. We are wrapping up 2024. And yeah, I hope everybody is doing great. Hope you guys had a great SAT experience. You guys are getting your scores today, as am I. If you are new to the channel, you haven't seen what I've been doing the last uh, <clears throat> couple months. I've been taking the SAT alongside you guys, and it's been a tremendously valuable experience for me as an SAT tutor. You know, one of the things that uh, was very interesting in my test administration this last time, I don't know if I told you guys this, or I don't think I've talked about this, but uh, one thing that I did not think that could potentially happen was I showed up at the test site. Now, again, this may have been in the emails, like notification emails leading up to my SAT administration, but uh, I don't believe it was. And I brought my device, I had it all set up and ready to go, and I showed up and they're like, oh, yeah, by the way, guys, you're all using these school provided laptops because in the district we're not allowing any outside laptops to connect to the wi-fi i did not know that so then everybody kind of had to shift and transition and we were logging into the blue book apps on these provided devices it all ended up being fine i'm, I'm sure it's just like a bit of a curveball for everybody including myself not that big of a deal but that was interesting so i'm learning when i'm going in about these different things that can and may happen when you take the digital sat for real um so you know, it's, it's been kind of interesting. I I was able to uh, kind of see that play out in real time. I've seen some other things that have been interesting as well. So learning from that helps me help my students in terms of what to expect and what to prepare for when they show up at the test center on test day. So it's, it's really, really valuable for me. All right, now is the fun part. So I took the SAT. We are going to do a live score reveal. I have not checked my score. I just logged in to my Blue Book account, but I have no idea what I got. Here we go. Let's check it out. For the first time, we're going to scroll down. That is uh, an old one, I think. Here we go, here we go. Oh my God, there it is, December 7th. We're about to see in three, two, come on baby, come on baby. Uh-oh, 15. Oh my God, I got something wrong on the math. No, I didn't get an 800, I got a 790. That's weird. Okay, let's take a look if we can see what happened. That's crazy. All right, very disappointing. All right, so let's check this out, what happened. That's so weird. I could have sworn. I, I thought I got everything right for sure. So I don't know what I got wrong. That's really surprising. Hmm. Okay. But these is not going to give much information. All right. But it is what it is. Let's see what happened. Yeah. Again, zero information. And unfortunately, with these score reports, it doesn't tell you anything, uh, what you got right or wrong or this and that. So, hmm. Very shocked by that. I, I double check. I mean, it was a hard math section. I will say that. I did feel like it was tough, but I mean, I uh, I thought I was able to for sure get, I, I mean, I felt left, despite the difficulty, I left feeling extremely confident that I got everything right. So, wow, that is wild. The last two tests, I got 800s back to back. So I did not get an 800 this time, mm, but it is what it is. That's what you uh, got to roll with the roll with the punches. A little bit surprised there, but there's the score reveal. Hope that was enjoyable. I had one other time where I got a 790 back on the old version, and that was pretty funny too because I was, uh, you know, obviously I'm always expecting an 800 on the math side, but uh, must have made some silly mistake along the way. And I, I think I, you guys got a pretty funny reaction there. This is uh, maybe equally as entertaining. Now let's talk about the verbal. I guess I got a 740 on the verbal. I can't remember what I got last time. Now just so you, if you guys are new to the channel, I don't actually usually teach the teach the verbal. Uh, that is, I have other people on my team that do that. I'm the math guy, the math specialist. So math is the one that I'm always obviously expecting to get at 800. The verbal is just more for fun and just to kind of, I don't know, I'm there anyway, so I may as well take it and give it my best effort. But but uh, yeah, the se the 740, I think that's cool. I think I'm, I, one, one thing I am noticing on the verbal section is once you get a feel and a flow for how the questions are laid out, you can move around in different ways so you can spend your time on some of the, what I consider the quicker questions, the easier questions like grammar, punctuation and whatnot. And then you can move back to the, I think the questions that take a little bit longer later on. And that's what I've been doing the last uh, two times I took it, which has helped. But yeah, again, that's, that's more for fun, not my area of expertise. I don't really have strategies there that I can recommend or that, that should say, would say that you could implement. I just sort of read and do my best. But yeah, that's a, that's a little surprising on the math side. Um, I wish I could get more information. I'd love to know what question I got wrong. I don't think, I mean, I, I let, walked out of there thinking I got for sure everything right, but, um, it is what it is and that's what can happen, I suppose. Right. So 
We just got to do our best, double check, triple check, quadruple check to whatever extent we can within the time frame. But hey, it is what it is. Even the pros, unfortunately for me this time, oh, it's going to bother me, but it's okay. Even the pros sometimes can uh, make mistakes. Uh, so, so I see Hassini said, I also I was also confident I'd get an 800, but oh well. Hassini, you got a 780, but that's a fantastic score. Um, yeah, and I'm seeing the scores come out for my students as well today. So we will see what happens. But anyways, just want to do this video live for you guys. I know a lot of you guys enjoy seeing these score reveals. And there it is. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like this video, make sure to click that like button. If you want to see more from the Scalar Learning channel, make sure to click subscribe. And I hope, despite the fact that I didn't pull it off and I didn't get the 800, but I hope you watch the rest of the content on this channel and see what it's all about and see the materials and the resources and the strategies that we provide to help you get to as close as possible to an 800 as you can. Now, at this point with the digital SAT, that's two out of three where I got an 800. Obviously, this time here was a 790, but I hope to spread the message. I didn't get an 800 in high school. I didn't even get a 790. I think I got a 770, I believe, in high school was my highest score. So now with pretty much like, you know, very high consistency, I can get close to a perfect, or, I mean, usually I get, get it perfect every time, but uh, um, not this time, but yet, yeah, like you can raise that consistency reliably, predictably with a lot of routine and practice and good practice resources. Now, speaking of practice resources, our official sponsor, uh, the SAT Crash Course, you can see the uh, banner up here. And make sure to check them out. The best practice SATs on the planet. Use the code SCALAR for 20% off. I highly, highly, highly recommend them as they're making more and more really, really well-made practice tests for the SAT. And the platform is amazing as well. We'll give you tremendous practice and experience with the Blue Book. So make sure to check that out. All right, guys. That's it. Quick score reveal. Leave your comments in the comments. Give me a like if you like this video. And uh, we can chop it up. And let me know what more content you want to see in 2025. I'm thinking of doing a... Well, I'm going to be doing a lot of calculus, AB calculus material. So let me know if that's something you're down with or if there's other topics that you want me to cover. I can do that as well. Thank you guys so much for joining. We will see you in the next video. Take it easy.